see social media is a very very beautiful place um recently a celebrity came online to do a live video and she found out that most people don't know what tapons are tapons or tapons you can see the spelling on the screen don't know what it is good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be sharing with you different methods of collecting your messes let's use that local language permit me different method of collecting your messes different method of um absorbing your messes so it's not just the part part from there are different forms that you can use that most people are not aware of but before we go into details if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers, this is me saying thank you. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you the different method of collecting your mazes, of absorbing your mazes, or of absorbing your mazes from the vagina during your menstruation. So this is what I'm going to be sharing with us today. So I'm going to be starting with the what we use and back in the early days, what our parents use and what people are still using to this very, very moment, which is the cotton clothes, the cotton clothes. So what they normally do is that they wrap this clothes to a small size that fits into um, their, um, their fits into the pelvic area properly. Then they wear their pants, they ensure they wear tight, tight panties and this measure fluid drops into the clothes and absorb the and absorb it for them for that period when it is filled they change it they wash and dry so generally i'm not saying stop it totally i'm not going to tell you stop it totally because i'm not in charge of your finance i'm not in charge of your comfort but what i can advise to those that are using cotton cloth to absorb their messes is that um always wash properly wash properly if possible add some anti antiseptic to weeks like a detol add it to it wash properly disinfect it sun dry put it in the sun to dry iron if possible iron as much as you can to kill those microorganisms that are not visible to you before you reduce so with that you'll be able to use it um, properly and have less infection in infection so that is what most people use in the olden days and what some, some ladies are still using because of financial constraints. So if you are that lady and you are using that and you can't afford pad or other methods to um, absorb the fluid during your meses, you can go for the cutting cloth. It is going to help a lot. Then there's also the second one that I don't advise it at all, which is the tissue. I've seen people telling me they use tissue. Yeah, tissue. I don't advise it for people to use it because this tissue when they are wet they can release their particles you see this thing is bringing out particles they can release their particles into the vagina and it might not be helpful so what i saw is that how i asked someone how do you use tissue for your meses he said that you have to wrap a lot of tissue to form like a thick cutting or something to make it thick then put it inside the pan same way you apply the um same way you apply the um, cotton cloths and use a tight pants it helps hold it then you can do your measure generally i don't advise this i don't advise tissue i will advise you use a cotton cloth compared to tissue yeah generally from my own point of view i don't advise this so the third one that we are common with is the sanitary pad the sanitary pad i believe a lot of us are very very familiar with the sanitary pad and uh, this is not a paid post i'm just doing it this is the third one we have the always we have virony we have different parts in the market so we have different sanitary parts in the market but i'm just going to open this one they are they look alike but they have a um, different constituents in it let me just open this sorry okay i'm just going to take one from inside okay this is more how most sanitary pads come in they have different makeup so sanitary pads they help absorb your meses properly so when they come they come like this 
you take this out you can see it then they usually have let me just quickly open then it, yeah this is the sanitary pad you can see this is the sanitary pad that helps absorb the fluid that helps absorb your mendis there are different types of sanitary pad there are different makeup of sanitary pad but they normally come with this feather that helps you attach it to your panties and wear so this sanitary pad helps you what they help you attach it to your panties and wear so whenever the fluid is coming it drops on the pad so when it's filled up you change and put on another one so most times you don't have to wait for it to get filled up advice you don't have to wait for it to get filled up the highest you should wear it is eight eight hours you change even if it's filled up or not to avoid uh, microorganisms from doing their meeting inside the pad and the panties so you always change your pads to prevent microorganism prevention they say is better than kill so this pad is a third uh, method which we normally use to absorb measures so you can go to the market and get the one that is more comfortable for you to use then the other one that most people are not familiar with which is the fourth one is the tapons the the tapons the tapons you can see the screen showing on um you can see your screen i don't have the tapons with me because i generally use the pad personally you can see the tapons showing on the screen it's kind of made up of cutting yeah it's kind of made up of cutting you put it inside the vagina it goes you insert it into the vagina the tapons have been inserted into the vagina some have applicator that makes it easier for you to apply it especially those that are using it for the first time it has an applicator you just have to apply use the applicator to push it inside your vagina and looking at the screen you see that it has something that looks like a rope let's use the local language local word a rope so that rope helps you to bring it out easily with no stress so that that's the tapons these tapons you don't see them unlike the pad that is visible in your pants the tapons are not visible on your pants they are inside the vagina then the other one i have to share is the measural cup the measural cup the measural cup oh i don't have the measural cup here they are little bells and bowls and they are made up of rubber silicone or soft plastic they are what they are little bells and bowls and they are made up of rubber silicone or soft plastic you can see the picture showing on the screen what they normally do is that same way you put in the tapons, it's similar to the same way you put in the measure cup. There's a way you squeeze it. All you have to do is to follow the instructions showing. There's a way you squeeze it and put it in the vagina. The fluid goes into um into the measure cup. It's taking the fluid. So most measure cups, some are reusable, while some are not reusable. So what they normally do, the reusable, the use reusable one. You take it out, you wash and insert, you use again. You get some, they use it once period, once the period is over, another period, they get another one. So it all depends on the type that you have. So you can see we have different method of absorbing this fluid coming as meses monthly as a lady. So it's not just pad for those that are used to pad. We have different methods. I've mentioned the cutting, those ones are the, that the cutting cloth, those ones are the olden days ones. We have the pad, let me go to the pad, we have the tapons, we have the measure cup, and we also have the measural underwear, mes uh, meses underwear that you uh, normally use, that also help to absorb fluid. There's something special about these tapons and measure cup is that you can use it to swim. Unlike this pad, now when you put it, you enter the swimming pool, definitely it's going to be wet and wash it out. So the tapons and um, the measure cup, you can take it into the swimming pool. You are not seeing it. You get, you are not seeing it. You can use it inside the swimming pool. You can use it um, whenever you want. Without even, some people don't even feel they, they have this, uh, this um tapons or measure cup it's like those that are good with it that are already comfortable with it they don't usually feel they have it with them so it is also advisable that when you use a tapon or a measure cup you also use a pint liner or a pad attached to it in case it's filled up so you don't your pants don't get stained directly so it goes to the pad or the pants nylon or the measure underwear so it's advisable you use that alongside with your with your tapons or your uh, pad 
with your tapons or your measure cup i mean so there's this question like oh would it fall out would it fall out how will it stay well there's something called those muscles around the vagina there's uh, there's a part there's a, there are muscles around this vagina so the muscles around the vagina help to hold them in place help to hold that cup in place help to hold that tapons in place so it doesn't dance around wiggle around so that's the function of the vaginal muscles it's helping to hold the tapons it's helping to hold the measure cup so it cannot move for those that are scared it's going to move to the surface it's going to go to my womb it's going to go to my abdomen so it doesn't move the muscles around the vagina actually help to hold it in place so it doesn't dance around thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching my video i hope you got value when it comes to what to use during your meses um you can try one of these methods and see if you're tired of using the constant pads you're tired of using the constant tapons you can try another method it's good to try something new and see which is more comfortable to you for you i cannot say this is the particular one for you to use i can't say use this i can't say use that i can't say use uh, tapons i can't say use um measure cup it all depends on what makes you comfortable so whatsoever makes you comfortable in public whatsoever makes you comfortable go for it and also it depends on your lifestyle for example those that are swimming now you don't expect them to use pad it depends on your lifestyle too it depends on what you do it depends on what you are doing at that particular moment I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. So it all depends on what makes you comfortable. There are some set of people that use tapons in the morning, their cups at night. Yeah, it all depends on you and what makes you feel comfortable and what you feel like using at that particular moment. So thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Messi Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.